governors that were elected in 2010 having to run on similar records against candidates who were going to give them a similar choice. But when it comes to Obamacare specifically, you know, Obamacare did not have uh, anything to do with Tuesday's outcome. Uh, you have you don't think it made, made the election closer. You don't. I mean, because no, I, I, I really, I really and, don't. And so, if you more look to at the, the results point, a year ago and the results are now, they were about the same. Right. If you look at 2014, if you look at this through the prism of 2014, you don't think that Obamacare will weigh heavily on Democratic elections. I, I think Obamacare, because um, they, Americans have been feeling the benefits since 2010, where young adults can stay on their parents' insurance until they're 26 where in, on January 1st, if you have a pre-existing condition, like I do, as you know, uh, as a breast cancer survivor, the peace of mind that uh, the, the, those Americans are going to have, knowing that they can never be dropped or denied coverage for that pre-existing condition, the preventative care that's available without a copay or a deductible, those are benefits that Americans have already been feeling and will I I increasingly re feel How as Obamacare is fully implemented. So I think, actually, Candy, that Democratic candidates will be able to run uh, on Obamacare as an advantage leading into the 2014 election. How